Hey, this is Fred Le Guin from the channel Excel Exercise. And on this video, I'm going to show you how to create a progress bar with icon, exactly like in this worksheet, where if I change the value 20, I just call all the two first men. And the same for here. It works perfectly. And to do that, I use, in fact, two tools, Excel, of course, and also Snagit. Let's open a new workbook and let's go. So to create the progress bar, let's start to insert one icon. And to find the icon in Excel, you go to insert icons. You select the category people and I select the first one like this. So now I don't reduce the size. I just zoom on it. So control and with the mouse, I scroll. Perfect. I'm going to crop it now to reduce the border on the left and right. And I'm going to adjust it to my grid. And there is a trick for that. So here it's not bad, but align snap to grid like this. Nice. And I remove the option. I adjust. OK, looks nice. And now, here's the first secret. I'm not going to do a Ctrl C, Ctrl V, but a Ctrl D. So I select my shape here, or it could be the same for a chart, and Ctrl D, duplicate. I put it here and look at the magic again. One more time, Ctrl D. And Excel, I just copy on the previous place. So it keeps the previous space and copy after. So this is my third man. One time, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So now I have to group all these icons. So the best way to do that is to go to Home, Find and Select, Select Object, Drag and Drop. I select all of them, Graphic, Group. Now, because I'm going to export this bar to another software, I'm going to make a difference between the color of the body and the shape of the body. So inside, I'm going to take, I don't know, this color, for instance, and for the border. And if you want to change the size of the border, you can do it, of course, if you prefer. Copy. Let's go to Snagit. And in Snagit, I have the option File new from clipboard. Here we go. Okay, and now I'm going to use the tool magic wand, or you can find it here. Here we have two important options. It's the global color selection. That means it's going to select all the same color, like this. And you can also adjust here. The more the value here is small and it's more precise to select the border. When it's done, check you are in transparency, delete, and we're good. So the job is nearly done. But maybe in some cases, it's better also to process to fill, white, and all the area around. Sometimes it's possible, it depends. So when it's done, copy, return to Excel. I select a cell here, paste. Let's check if we have the transparency. Perfect. It works like a charm. So now I'm going to insert this picture above a conditional formatting. So here, what I'm going to do, I don't need this anymore. Let's say value 50. And here in this cell equal B1. Now I'm going to insert a conditional formatting, bar, blue, OK. Now in the settings, I manage my rules. I'm going to select minimum number 0, maximum number 100. Apply. One thing is missing show bar only. Like that, I will remove this 50 in the cell. 
let's try 25 okay 99 okay so now very basic I just drag and drop my image here I adjust here and of course here this I don't need it anymore let's try it works and it's done you have created your progress bar with icon okay now i let you practice because there is few tricks but it's not so complex bye